When we talk about seasonings, herbs, and spices, think of it as building flavors. We commonly use three of our five senses to enjoy a meal. Sight, smell, and of course taste. When we see vibrant colored vegetables in a salad, smell the aroma of basil and oregano coming from a tomato sauce, it gives us an idea of how the food will taste. In general, how we perceive tastes like sweet, sour, salty, bitter, or savory are universal. How sweet or how salty something tastes will be different from person to person, but our recipes give us some guidelines. Some dishes can have combinations of these tastes, such as sweet and sour pork. Each of these categories, seasonings, herbs and spices, all add flavor, but each have different purposes. Seasonings are the most familiar category and include salt and pepper, sweeteners like sugar, and acids like lemon juice. Salt, in moderation, brings out the natural flavors in food. We add it to boiling water to cook pasta because it enriches the flavor. Small amounts of salt will bring out natural flavors, while more salt will give a little bit more bite. Soup with no salt can taste very bland. A little salt and you'll taste the main ingredients. More salt and you get a salty soup. Salt should always be limited and when used must be measured. One possible look for other ways to add flavor instead of using salt. Black pepper has a stronger flavor than white pepper. Use it sparingly. It is a strong flavor and difficult to remove once added. Sweeteners include white and brown sugar, honey, and corn and maple syrups. Moisture can make sugar clump up, so make sure it's fully incorporated when added with other ingredients. Always measure your ingredients. Acids, like lemon, orange, and lime juice, and vinegar, add wonderful tart flavors to a dish, but should be used sparingly. Be aware that acids can curdle dairy products and vinegar can react with baking soda. Lemon juice can also be used to slow down the browning or oxidation process of fruits and vegetables. The idea is to work from the foundation of flavor found in the recipe's ingredients and build layers of additional flavor with seasonings. Herbs are leaves and stems from plants and are available fresh or dried. A wide selection of dried herbs are available. While bay leaves are used whole, other dried herbs can benefit from being crushed a little bit as they are added to the recipe. Dried herbs are usually added early in a recipe to allow the flavors to come out and blend with the other flavors. Fresh herbs are added towards the end of the cooking so they release their flavor and complement the recipe. Be sure the leaves are not brown or wilted. Pick off a leaf and roll it in your fingers and you can quickly smell the difference. Fresh herbs need to be prepared to add to your recipe. Be sure to rinse and dry them before use. Thyme leaves can be removed by sliding your thumb down the stems. Most herbs, like basil, are chopped using a sharp knife, being careful not to bruise the leaves too much. If you need larger quantities, a food processor should be used. Chives are commonly cut with kitchen scissors. With some recipes, such as soups, you could add the entire stem of rosemary or bay leaves during the cooking and remove it before finishing the soup. Spices are also added early in the preparation of a recipe to let the flavors come out. Sometimes whole spices are placed in a cheesecloth bag tied with twine so they can be removed once the cooking is complete. Spices can be combined ahead of time to make custom spice blends. A Mexican spice blend would include chili, cumin, paprika, and onion powder. An Italian blend would include basil, oregano, marjoram, and thyme. These and other blends can even spice up oven fries. To our students, mealtime is all about flavor, and building flavors is the way to go.